Oh my, look at the dancing woman on there. <gasps> Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I'm here at the Old Cracker House in Ocala, Florida to shop at this antique mall here. We're going to see what we can find. Let's go. Oh, look at that. There's some pretty artwork down there. There's that one there. The paint by number for 20 or for 30. They have the Panther too, $70. And that one has like the little pocket in the back so you can stick a plant in it. 70 and the bluebird of happiness oh my god it's 20 for that one and that one's leo ward 1990. oh i like this one too oh and they have the blendo look at that tall pitcher that's for some long island iced tea <laughs> long actually what what would you use that for specifically maybe some sort of drink uh i don't know maybe it holds your umbrella just one umbrella. And they have the roly-poly glasses here too. And I, that's, I just, Blendo is so pretty. West Virginia Glass did the Blendo stuff many times. They have some interesting things here. Look at this porthole. It's a port rectangle. 17 by 10. And it's, um, how much? 195, 195. So yes, you could put a small window in your room and open it up and stick your head. Oh my goodness, woman, what has life done to you? She is looking down on the world, look at that. You could actually position these to any any angle you'd like. She's $55, $55 and 55 years old, probably. Oh, no, in there, her. The whole thing is, is probably from the 30s. 30s or so convex oh she's she's she bows out she's a convex woman don't you love that i do i'm a fan oh on them little people there here's a wedding vase wedding pottery 24 dollars there's another one there for 30 in the back <gasps> the leaning cylinder of pisa the tower i know but it looks like a cylinder these are always fun these hanging shell things with the little dangly bits at the bottom 39 that's not too bad i don't think 32 32 for that one and 24 for that one those are some long neck ducks mm -hmm. they got some nice mid-century things over here some people they're very stiff. They need to loosen up. Oh, this is really cool. Look at these dishes. That's really, oh, they're very dusty. That's not a good sign. That's not, that's not good. You either mark it down or dust it. One of the two. But really, they're only $9. That's surprising. And they're, they're just, they're this dusty. They've been here for this long. Metlocks, $9. That doesn't seem very bad at all. I don't know. Here's some restaurant wear over here too. So you've got this one. This is Homer Laughlin. Oh, and they had uh, $17 for the cup and saucer on that one. Here we've got a, a, um, a K, a Colin, no, what's her name? Collins, Bartlett, no, Collins, Collins, Collins. Enid, might be Enid. She didn't write her name on this one though. Did Enid do it? Uh, no. Who the hell's... Gary did it. Gary. Gary Gale. Gary Gall. Gary Gall. Who's that? Who's Gary? Gary. Well, anyway, it's $50. Oh, and they got all the Longa Burger. That's so cool. Look at that. $35. It's a boat. It's not the Titanic. I don't think. It would be on its side if it was. 35 for that silhouette. Was that too soon for the Titanic joke? I mean, it's been a minute. Ooh, look at these. Those are so pretty. All the blue luster wear. Oh my gosh. And the and the and those, the, the Collins glass the Tom Collins glasses, they're taller. Ridiculous to get your hands in and clean them. Oh my gosh, what's that? It says what does that say? Doesn't even matter. New York. 
World's Fair, 1939. <gasps> that is everything. Did you know you're everything? I don't need to fill you up, Buttercup. How much? Oh my, oh my, look at the dancing woman on there. <gasps> that is so cool. She, she's putting on a dance. I love these tumblers. That one I don't care for. They try to do something with it, but it looks like stupid. Uh, I'm gonna get these two. I might sell them together. Those are very, very neat. Oh, now this is the one we don't ever get to see. <gasps> this is the rare, and they put rare R in there. They know it's rare. So it's fifteen. It's fourteen dollars fifty each. This is the green. I'm gonna buy it. Yes, I am. I'm gonna buy this thing because the green you do not see. Oh, that one has a little slip in there. That little slit. Let's not get that one. Let's be more specific and selective because we want to be smart about this. See that? Now look in that handle. That's another slit. Not a fan. Let's. How about this one? I'm gonna buy one of these. It better be perfect. Are you perfect? You look good. So that's the green one. They also make a blue one that's very difficult to find. So orange, green, blue, brown, of course. I'll get this one, $14.50. And uh, we look at the inside for cracks or anything. This is a lead-based glaze, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'll get this one. That's a really cool tin. So this is $350 and it says rare Victorian, 1800s tobacco and spice tin. That is really, or spiced in. And it has the little horses on there and everything. Look at that. That is really neat. So they have the Hazel Atlas jam jar here, apple. They also made this in strawberries and a pineapple. Pineapple's very, very hard to find. I've yet to find one in the wild ever. Always see the apples, always see the strawberries. So these look like Culver though. Culver is usually signed on the tumblers. I need to stop looking at tumblers and glasses. That's not this kind of video. What is that? Ooh, avocado tea light pyramid holder, $56. That's nice. Very good, very good. They have some Egyptian items. That's a pretty look. Look at that. That's kind of nice. Oh, it's a light cover. I thought it was a covered jar and that was like the lid there. No, it's not. I'm just an idiot. Oh, I like these little things. These are fun. I've, this early American art, it's been kind of on my mind as of late. They have $6 on it. That's not too much really. It's this nice serene picture, kind of flat in style. But yeah, six isn't bad at all. No, it's not. Ooh, look at all the like the little ginger jars, little spice jars. That's nice. That's nice. They've got a ceramic tree in there and a ring holder. You could play like ring toss on it. I think it'll break it probably, but uh, they have all the little comp. Now these are obviously reproductions, but they're cool either way. You can see how um, blurry they are from when they printed them. Uh, you can almost see like the uh, little pixelization like from a printer interesting Actually, I've, I don't think I've ever seen those like that before They're based on the other ones made from Western Germany though. Okay, this is the second one of these that I found I, I bought the last one that I found but this is made out of metal Which is interesting because it's very similar to the early milk glass owls that were uh, glass and so this is made of metal. Now this is the second one I've got. I don't think I actually sold the other one I had yet. I got it probably maybe half a year ago. So I'm gonna pick this one up for $10.50 and then um, eventually I'll sell it. This is a cool booth, look at that. They've got the green card table, all these little snack trays, the mushroom canisters, the fondue, the a horse, a little out of place, but and then look at the tree back here, this big thing. This is a big one, $200. And I think it's multi piece Well, usually these are multiple pieces. Like here you got your base, then like this piece, and then that piece. So 200, and it says it has a little damage, but it's really pretty, really it is. I love this thing. This is an early, early piece. Oh, and they got the canisters. Tea, coffee, sugar, flour. And all of those are 38. These are interesting lids. They kind of are made to look like wood. They're plastic. And then that's metal. 
the rest of them. Very different. Usually they're 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 not like that. Normally they're basically like a green top that's similar to the to that. So that's a more or less unique way to do it. There, a big ashtray. Oh, I like the 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 strainer too. The not the strainer, the dish strainer, the dish strainer. Ooh, that's neat too. Sixteen dollars, new in package, and these tongs. Oh, that's cool. The old salad tongs and the hand mixer with the orange. That's fun. Oh, if you're into the 70s or the late 60s even, $19 for that. Look at the drill, look at that. Look at that, you could clean your house. You could clean your house. It could be vintage dust. They do have the left-in set there with the, the cups and the sugar and the creamer. Look at that giant cake cover thing too. This is such a total aesthetic over here. And then this, like the Farberware, and these, these are probably West Bend aluminum, and they are West Bend. West Bend did some canisters that were basically just aluminum with no paint on them. Very common in the 50s, 60s. Handy holder. Oh my goodness, what could you put in there? I think anything that you put in is going to fall right out. That's not too handy. Let's stick that back on there. I like these. We've got the colorful shrooms and the canisters here. It's California pottery. Here's the real hoity-toity stuff now. Look at that. $2,000. It's in mint condition. First edition. And it's some, some, some things standing on each other. Look at this. $700 for that cat. $700 for the gorilla. $285 for the ram. Oh, these are some really, look at that. $175 for the collie. I mean, it's cheaper than getting a real collie. It's expensive taking care of a dog. Just get that thing. Peach blow. Now that is something I haven't seen maybe once. I, I, I can barely remember it if I did. $125 for the set, but that is beautiful. It has kind of like a maroon, like a pink, and then kind of a purple. That's really lovely. There's also a Fenton Cranberry set back here. Isn't that great with the daisy and fern pattern on it? That's nice as well. And then some Wedgwood and the green, the Jasper wear there. That's really pretty. Mm, just so, so nice. And they have the Sabino Butterfly for 85 there. Sabino's really pretty. Oh, I've never been able to buy any of it, really. I once found one, but it was chipped and yeah, that's a pretty one. One forty-five, and then they're doing forty percent off. The color on that's really nice, very vivid. The frame is pretty too. I, that's really great. I have a lot of stuff like that. I need to actually sell. The cranberry and clear. Those are nice. The peach carnival glass there as well. That is the blackberry spray pattern right there in the hat-shaped dish. It's ruffled. And they also made that in other, in other colors too. Very very common and. Um, milk in the carnival glass to have different color combinations with the same pattern. That is pretty. That is really pretty. It says as is with the chip. It's $80. You can see the chip there. This one has all the enameling on there. It is hand painted and it has the gold leaf, the gold accenting, the Moriyagi. It is not signed. Now this piece would most likely be marked made in Japan on the bottom and it is marked that specifically made in above the word Japan means that it's from about the 1930s then after that we went on to just the word Japan uh, but plus you can kind of get the clue from the fact that it's luster wear very prominent during that time frame as well it has all the painted flowers on there oh look at this tray cast iron can't read the number. Maybe it says 25. That's a cool one. That's really unique. I'm not sure if you'd cook in it or if it's for some kind of a, like holding something. I guess you could cook in it if it's cast iron. Oh, that girl is upset. Or is it a boy? It's a girl, I guess, with the flowers. Oh my gosh. 75. Not too happy. I don't know. Somebody ate her grapes. Oh, that is really cool. Now, it was sitting here without a price tag on it. It has the Egyptian motif on the graphics. 
Helmar cigarettes. You're so neat. But yeah, there's no, there's no prize. No prize. I like the Egyptian stuff and that's really cool advertising. The colors are very nice. Yeah, it was just up here with this other, this other stuff. I don't, wait, here's a random tag up here. Can we, you're, okay. No smoking sign. Well, that's not it. Gotta fix the horse. Fix the horse. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see any other price. Maybe they just didn't price it. Well, that's sad. Of course, you could, I could ask, but I'm, it okay. It okay. Here's some Fenton. Little animal there at the bird. 25, and then you got the bear for 15. That's a pretty, fit. oh gosh, you are beautiful. Who did you? $25, it says Nippon. It's not marked that it's Nippon, but let's go in here. But that's really pretty. Nippon would have been a, um, a mark, not a sticker. So I don't see a mark on it. They're, they weren't doing sticker Nippon. That's really pretty. And you know the word Nippon actually just means Japan, and they use that word as a way to circumvent the McKinley Tariff Law, saying that things that were imported into the United States had to be marked with the country of origin, but Nippon means Japan, and people were buying it, and they didn't know that it was coming from Japan. They thought it was just a fancy word, but uh, it is really pretty. That is lovely. It's decorated very nicely. But yeah, it's not marked. Look at this. It's a blown glass elephant, like, note holder, a recipe holder. It's art glass. And it looks really, really good. Six dollars. That's very beautiful. If you've got yourself, like, a little note you want to put on there. A business card. That's pretty with the witch. That's like the witch wood with the seahorse motif on there. There's some other blown glass here. Little tiny guys. Oh, they've got the clam broth. They do have jadeite written on here, but that's known as clam broth whenever it is so, sort of translucent like that. Jade, or I mean, um, jadeite. Yeah, jadeite is more opaque. It's not as translucent as this. It's kind of like a milky, um, like a milky green. But the clam broth is really pretty. So $11 for the footed cup there. Lots of elephants and horses here. I've said it before, Ocala is known as the horse capital of the United States. That's what they say. All right, these I've never seen before. What does that say? Made in USA. It's like a plastic composite. These seem to have some sort of age on them. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I just am pretty excited about them. I. I think they're adorable. You could put a bottle brush tree in there, like a vintage one with some tiny mercury ornaments glued to it or something. I think that would be so cool. You could do that times two and have like, you know what I mean? That would be pretty cool. They're just so neat. I'm gonna get them. All right, so I just finished up there. I think I did pretty well. I found a nice assortment of items and yeah. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.